Petrol and diesel cars have been around for more than a century, but we all know that their time is running out. The question is, what will replace them? Could it be this? This is the Honda Clarity, a car powered not by fossil fuels, but by clean hydrogen. Is it the future or is it just another fad? We've come to Denmark, home of the bicycle, the boat, and all things eco-friendly to find out. Now, the chief benefits of a hydrogen car are zero emissions. The only thing that comes out of the exhaust of this car is water. There's no soot, there's no CO2, no NOx as you get with a diesel engine. Just water so pure that in theory you could drink it. Although that might be a bit tricky while you're going along. To drive, the car is remarkably unremarkable. It rides and handles like any other mid-sized four-seater saloon. It cruises comfortably at motorway speeds and it's very quiet. Of course, battery-powered cars like the Tesla are just as clean, but the advantage of hydrogen is that it gives you double the range of most battery cars. The Honda can cover 360 miles between stops. And when you do stop, there's no lengthy wait for it to recharge. Now, refuelling with hydrogen is, in theory, every bit as simple as with a petrol or diesel car. You have a nozzle to dispense the fuel, and then the system goes through various checks to make sure that there are no leaks. Once it's content that it's all sealed and safe, then you press this button to start, and the whole process takes no more than three minutes. With all that good news, there has to be some bad news. The first problem for those of us in Britain is a shortage of places to refuel. In Denmark, there are 12 fuel stations serving a population of 6 million. In Britain, we'd need more than 100 to achieve the same coverage. In fact, there are only nine. The second problem is that because of this, Honda won't be releasing the car in Britain for a while, which is a shame because this car proves that hydrogen is finally a practical alternative to petrol and diesel. In fact, it may not be too much of a stretch to say that the car of the future has arrived.